most people try to create a new personal reality as the same personality and it doesn't work. When we are experiencing those, those qualities, uh, it is coming from our mind. It's coming from our inner child, it's coming from our fear, from our families, our perceptions, our conditioning. It's not coming from our heart. You have to be open. You want to grow? You have to take food in. You want to grow? You take love in. To do that, you have to be open. You identified yourself with something that you are not. If you understand it's just a thought, it has no power. Start using your mind differently. Create something else. <laughs> well, whenever you say, I am anything, what you're saying is you're commanding your mind and body towards a destiny. And most people wear their emotions layer by layer and they believe that's who they are. But that's not who you are. Begin to change how you think and feel, broadcast a whole new electromagnetic signature, and give thanks before the event is made manifest. And whenever you make your brain work differently, you're changing your mind. Our experience is only an experience, not positive, not negative, until we judge our personal experience, until we give it an importance based on our perceptions and our beliefs. And until we do that, it is simply an experience. So, so the question is, why are we judging ourselves and how do we judge ourselves? Don't identify any thought as negative because it's just a thought. So with every new experience, there should be a pretty good emotion, right? You should feel overjoyed or in awe and wonder or excited or inspired or in gratitude or appreciation, an elevated emotion. We can't create a new future holding on to the emotions of the past. The privilege of being a human being is that we can make thought more real than anything else. A new state of being is a new personality. And a new personality creates a new personal reality. And if you knew that you were a creator of reality, that your thoughts have something to do with your destiny, if you knew that on a gut level, would you ever miss a day? Never miss a day. And would you ever let a thought slip by your awareness that you didn't want to experience? We have been programmed in this world not to love ourselves. When you learn that you're part of spirit as real, then you realize you're a part of everything that is. I cannot lead my life in that critical nature. I'm going to own who I am. I'm a spirit that has come to this planet to experience and to create and to manifest a heaven on earth. Why don't you keep an account book at the end of the day? Just check, am I a little more joyful today than yesterday? If you had done this since you were five years of age, you would have been ecstatic by now. When thought, feeling and emotion become one, we literally can change the stuff our world is made of. We can rearrange the atoms of matter through the belief waves that emanate from our heart. And when you marry a clear intention, intention is a thoughtful process, with an elevated emotion, that's a heartfelt process, you move into a new state of being. Every one of you is a piece of all that is. Every one of you. There's a point where you have to stand back and say, that's not me. So then to change then is to be greater than your environment, to be greater than the conditions in your world, to be greater than the circumstances in your life. And every great person in history knew this, whether it was William Wallace or Mahatma Gandhi or Joan of Arc or Martin Luther King, the Wright brothers, to have a vision, an idea, a dream, and to begin to no longer keep doing the same things because all of the adversity in our life is to initiate us into greatness. It's to call out something greater in us. Beauty is already everywhere in everything. Our job is to find that beauty, to seek it out. And, and it is the marriage of the mind and the heart that give us the power to create. Your life and the experience of your life is entirely your making. If this one thing doesn't sink into you absolutely, you will not make the necessary changes. Every day, every moment, if you remind yourself, this is a brief life, 
you will become something truly fantastic within yourself. So if I could just leave you with this understanding, you came here to create heaven. Own who you are, because then your creative abilities will come forth. And it's the opening of life. The moment you begin to observe a new future, that's called intention, with an elevated energy, you are causing infinite waves of possibility to begin to collapse into new patterns of information called your life. And we can't keep doing the same things, thinking the same thoughts, performing the same actions, and living by the same emotions and ex secretly expecting our life to change. We have to meet all of these challenges, and we have to be the heroes and the heroines that begin to leave a legacy in this particular time. We are born into this world with a power uh, in our hearts uh, that we already have, that we don't have to learn, it's already there, uh, and it's a power that aligns us with the, the framework, with the matrix of the universe itself. What is happening within you, your experience of your life is entirely your making. It's your making, it's your doing. And the hardest part about change is not making the same choice as you did the day before. Who am I? What is a greater expression of myself? What would I have to change to be happy? Who in history do I admire that I want to be like? From a quantum perspective, the atom is 99.9999% energy and information. And we're putting all of our attention on the particle. And we're missing out on possibility. We live in the world of thought, the world of feeling, and the world of emotion. When these three become one, when the thought and the feeling and the emotion are merged, are married together into a single potent force, then when you say to the mountain, move, the mountain will move. This experience of the heart is not something that we do. It is something that we become. It is something that we live in our lives. Life becomes the prayer. Every moment of every day is the prayer. And because this modality of prayer, it's called the lost mode of prayer, feeling-based prayer, because the prayer is based in a feeling, and we can have a feeling all the time. We can have a feeling in our cars driving on the, the highway. We can have a feeling in the office, in the school, with our families, uh, alone in the park. We can always have a feeling, and that means we can always be in prayer. But it's not something that we do in a moment. It's a way of living. It's a way of life. It's something that we become. And when we do that, the prayer never ends. And that is the secret to maintaining the powerful effects that are documented by science. And the phenomenon is that you are a creator. Your genes are a library of potential. They are they are a library of possibility. They're a parts list. And when you begin to do something differently, when you begin to think something differently, when you begin to experience something differently, when you begin to emotionally embrace something differently, you're literally changing your genetic expression. What if you woke up in the morning and instead of getting out of bed and doing the same thing as you did the day before and going through the same routine as you did for the last five years, what if you woke up in the morning and you said, you place your hand over your heart and you say, I'm going to teach you what it feels like to be noble today. I'm going to train you to know what abundance is. And you begin to marry a clear intention with an elevated emotion. And you memorize that feeling. And you're able to maintain that modified state of mind and body your entire day. Get ready. Because something unusual is going to happen in your life. That's the law. You are all so beautiful without your filter. There's a choice to say, do I want to be the filter or do I want to be me? First you understand, this is my making, entirely my making. The moment you see it, you have the ability to change it. And all of this information is to empower you to understand that it's possible. All of the conditions in our outer world somehow reflect some aspect of us. And when you change your energy, you change your life.